throw over to the bag, and he just manages to get his hand in. Got a pretty good lead right there. A one pitch on its way. He's on the move again from first. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Four runs here in this half inning. Again, he's off for second. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And this will hit about halfway up the monster. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. First baseman, number 35. Oh, darn near at his second home run of the ball game. You see, this thing bangs off the wall out there. He's in the second with a double. Now in the box, Eric Hosmer. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield here would be big for these guys. It could score, too. Ranging back is Mabin. Still ranging back. Gone! So a three-run shot to left center as they just continue to pour it on here. The batter, right fielder. Mookie Here's Mookie Betts. Betts. Now that ball is smoked, carrying to deep left. And no shot to get this. It's off the monster. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. The Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. He's set. Here it comes. Sharply hit ball back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit around third and being waved on home, and not in time as the run scores. And everything's going right for these guys right now. This has turned into an eight-run inning. They've just blown the doors off of this inning. Hard liner towards short. But this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. Big inning for them, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. Ian Kinsler will stride forward to lead it off, and I'd imagine he'll do so with some tired legs after being out in the field for that last half inning. Yeah, that was a killer. He could probably use a minute or two on the bench, but he gets pressed right back into action here. And there's a swing and a miss as Kinsler's down quickly now, 0-2. And if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. way outside one and two maybe a good opportunity here to, to show him a change up give him a different look swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory and taken in out there for the first out now batting center fielder Cameron Mabin will dig in for the third time now he struck out and bounced out in his first two trips High in the air and deep to left center field. Ranging back is Bradley. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the, the second out. Well, you could see this building even from the first couple of innings. He still has not allowed a hit. And I think he'll certainly have enough to go the distance if so required. Chop foul at the plate. Strike one. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. I'll tell you, he's been living on that corner all afternoon. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Bruce Rondon will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Jose Altuve steps in looking for his third hit of the ball game. Well, anytime you can put together a three-hit game, you're doing something right out there. And we'll see if he can pull it off. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Mike Trout. Mike Trout digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. Sends that one out of play for strike one. You know, when I watch Mike Trout and I see the speed and the power, it reminds me of Mickey Mantle. 
And whatever you do, don't give him something down in the zone to hit. He loves the ball down. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And this will kick up against the wall near the Red Sox bullpen. And he is in to second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. With a guy like this, once that ball gets into the alley out there in right center, you can bet he's going to be thinking three. So that's a good job to get it in quickly and hold him to just a double. Hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. And with that, they're up to an even 20 runs now in the game. And I'll tell you, I like high-scoring ball games as much as the next guy. But enough is enough already. Call off the dogs, man. David Ortiz steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far. So we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. On the ground now for Iglesias. This could be two. Kinsler for one. On to Cabrera at first. It's a twin killing, and the side is retired. So one run on two hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Victor Martinez will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on, and that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Sail into the windup. Here it is on 0-2. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. The right fielder, number J.D. Martinez, J. will stand Martinez. in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. And we've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Well, a huge out number two here in the eighth. Four big outs remain, but in the finish line, it's starting to come into sight. Justin Upton will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Now a step off as they try to get on the same page. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. This guy just continues to pound the strike zone. He's throwing a first pitch strike to 90% of the batters he's faced. Look how late we are into this ball game and got him. So that's eight perfect innings and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. Xander Bogarts is into the box now. He hit one over the wall back in the fifth. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. The 0-1. Hit sharply toward the right side. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Ready now, Eric Hosmer. They'll try to build on an already great game. He's three for five so far in this one. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. So standing in, Mookie Betts. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Runners going. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Well, this is just turning into a game for the ages now. This is his sixth hit of the game. My partner Steve, he had months where he didn't get six hits. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Hit 
hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Maben able to get this in quickly, and that's going to force the runner to hold on at third base. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. So coming to the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr., and he's got a very real opportunity at making some history here. Hard hit towards center. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs on for the second out. Ooh, nice play. The cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't sure they were going to send him on that ball. This was hit awfully hard, but they decide to roll the dice and take a chance to score him, and it's going to wind up paying off. Runners breaking for the plate. Line drive to center field. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Well, if you want to point fingers at who's to blame for this disaster, you're going to need both hands. In the pitching, the batting, the defense, the execution. Just draw a line through this one. This one's been an absolute disaster. And that's going to get down out there. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. The third base for number 13. Manny Machado stands in. The eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Yeah, you know, and this could get ugly in a hurry. Or pretty, I guess, depending on which dugout you're sitting in. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Hit hard towards second. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. It's a lead for the American League, 22 to nothing. Nick Castellanos will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yeah, this is mop-up time out there right now, but hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average, so you can't go up there and just mail it in You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Trout is there, one away. Oh, and that's a big first out. And it's nice to get that first one out of the way. He's not home yet, though. Still two big outs to get through before it's celebration time. James McCann is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike it's 0 and 1 now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground and he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two the short stop, number one Jose Iglesias will stand in here as the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance and that swung on and missed for strike one. Boy, he is just wearing guys out with that two-seam fastball. I don't care if it's inside, outside. He's really hitting his spots well. Oh, now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Well, that's a huge difference between being 0-2 and 1-1 and and as a hitter, especially against a guy like this on the mound. So that's a good job to hold up on that pitch. Strike three called, and it's over. He's pitched a perfect game. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch him. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The American League wins this thing.